Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Leos who are watching. So if you have Leo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Leo, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and begin, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, Leo, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Alright, also Leo, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I do describe from your person, that could be how you feel, the roles could be reversed here, just however this reading resonates for you, please only take what resonates out of it, Leo. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with your energy and your reading. Let's see what messages we do have for you, Leo. Can we please receive a few messages for my Leos when it comes to love and their energy? Who's this person that Leo is getting to know? All right, so we have this message. We also have that message as well. How does this person truly feel towards Leo and what would they like to express to Leo moving forward? Let's see what else we have going on, please, for Leo. Okay, Leo, so a couple cards came out at once, so let's see what we have. I'm going to go ahead and take from the top here. We'll put these extra messages back. Let's keep this message, Leo, but I will also cover this message as an extra. It says, I miss the old times with you. All right, Leo, so let's just go ahead and stop right there for now, and we'll get into these messages, and of course, we'll pull some additional cards. But first message that did come out is, I want long-term with you. We also have, I know where we stand, so don't worry. I can see myself loving you so hard, it's scary. You know, all my secrets, I share them with only you. Then we also have, I'm hiding my feelings for you because once I let them out, things will get real. Okay, Leo, so this could be someone coming towards you or someone that you're already dealing with currently. I feel like for you, Leo, you're just hoping that this person embraces this connection in a way of how they truly feel this connection to be. And what I mean by that, Leo, by embracing them, embracing this connection, it's like, I have my own anxieties or I feel nervous too, but I know how I feel about you, so I'm gonna show it. I'm not going to hold back. And also I feel somewhat trustworthy, or not trustworthy, but I feel like I can trust you as well. I feel like your feelings are mutual, so, don't let your feelings, your emotions, your anxieties hold you back here and waste time. Because sometimes with wasting time, mixed signals are sent. So it's like, if you feel this way about me, then show me that. Don't hide, don't hide away here. Because imagine what we could be if we were to just lead with our heart here. So I feel like this person, it's not like they're doubtful of things, but they, they may be nervous or anxious to really get things going. And also when it comes to this connection with you, it's like commitment wise, it's like they know that once they take those first steps towards commitment with you, then they have to be serious for themselves. So it's like this person is getting ready to express how they feel, but they want to make sure that they're capable of giving you the love that you deserve and that you desire. So let's go ahead and get into these messages, Leo. First, let's start with, you know, all my secrets, I share them with only you. So this could be a shared energy between you two, perhaps you and this person having some heart to heart conversations here or 
something that was expressed from you, Leo, or from this person that you wouldn't just share with anyone that you didn't trust or anyone that you felt like would judge you. It's like there has been an open space of communication here, but I feel like that that open space of communication and those deep conversations that you may have had, it's like you two have them, but then this person not shuts down, but it's like they, they go back into that shell of theirs. But I feel like you, you see the potential here because you've actually felt it with this person. And it's not only a romantic connection, it's also a, a spiritual connection that you feel like you two share with one another as well. And that's, that's even a stronger bond to some people. So not only a romantic attraction, but there's that spiritual attraction, that mental attraction that you two have going on here. So it's like our connection, or at least I feel like our connection is so much deeper than the surface level already. And sometimes tapping into underneath the surface level, that could be hard or it could be uneasy because you don't know what is beneath. but. Once you get beneath, that's where all the realness, the rawness, and the beauty really sits. So we have that first message, Leo. We also have, I know where we stand, so don't worry. I'll actually cover this message after this. I can see myself loving you so hard, it's scary. This person's energy, Leo. And I feel like you may have moments with this person where you feel like you're reaching a new point or phase in this connection but then they go back into their shell or they shut down again and I feel like it's due to them getting cold feet could have nothing to do with who you are Leo could be from the past or how their past relationships have turned out it's like once they give it their all once they really embrace this connection and share more of themselves to that person that's when this person switches up or they change up and they leave so there could be trauma or negative experiences from the past that have nothing to do with you but leading back into i know where we stand so don't worry i feel like this is this person's energy leo i feel like they want to try to reassure you as best as they can that they're in this with you that they're consistent they're interested in knowing you but I feel like as far as their words here, they have not outwardly expressed that. And you, Leo, may be tired of painting the way or paving the way, I should say, paving the way for things to happen in this connection, initiating this person or things with them, pursuing them. So it's like, show me that your love is real to me by stepping up here. But it's like this person, they're consistent in this connection, but vocally they have not They've been more silent about what they want with you and how they feel. All right, so we also have, I want long-term with you. I do feel like this is a mutual shared energy, Leo, um, but from, not from the start, but I feel like it didn't take long for you to know how you felt about this person and recognize the qualities that they have, the qualities within you, Leo, and how you two can come together and be something great but also just how they make you feel. So I want long term with you. And then we also, excuse me, we also have, I'm hiding my feelings for you because once I let them out, things will get real. So like this is this person's energy, Leo. It's like that saying like, once the ball drops, it keeps rolling. So this person knows that once they express what they want with you or make that first step directly towards you, once they put their feelings out there on the table and what they want to do, they're going to have to keep keep that. Or they, in order to satisfy you, Leo, they're going to have to follow through with that. And it's not like this person does not want to do that, but I feel like they just think about so many things at once when everything that they're thinking about, it may not be what is even happening in the present moment. So it's like the ball doesn't have to roll too fast here but let's let's have this conversation that might be uncomfortable at first but once we have it once we start going through what we're talking about then it'll become much easier and 
also not everything's going to be seamless or perfect all at once but let's make that mutual intention let's set that mutual intention to work through it the best we can together all right what else do we need to know here for my leos when it comes to this person okay we have another message what else does this person want to express to leo please Okay, so we'll take this message as well. Let's go ahead and receive two more messages, please, from my Leos. What else do we need to know here? Okay, Leo, so let's see what this says. I know I'm confusing. I'm still figuring myself out. And then we have a total of six more messages to get through, or seven. So let's just go ahead and go through them but it says this first message here and this is what we have so bad i wish i could have it back i don't want to feel controlled loving you is so easy loving you is so easy please don't get discouraged while trying to get to know me we'll keep that up top i know i'm confusing i'm still figuring myself out then we also have let me remind you how much i love you i don't want you to forget and I want to be better for me so I could be better for you. So Leo, I know I've been referring to this person holding back or them getting cold feet. And I feel like they need to come to terms with how you feel about them, Leo, and knowing that it's true. Feeling comfortable trusting you. Because it's like this person goes back and forth due to them self-sabotaging this or thinking differently from what they've have been shown by you Leo so it's like you're doing what you can to reassure this person and to be there for this person while also wanting more with them and it's like they take it in they receive it but in their in their mind or due to past experiences it's like is this love going to run out or am I truly ready for this so let's go ahead and get into please don't get discouraged while trying to get to know me also leo the roles could be reversed here like i mentioned but please don't get discouraged while trying to get to know me this person's energy i feel like you leo have been very patient with them very understanding understanding that i come from my own experiences that have altered me or affected me in some way and so does this person but the patience, the kindness, the thoroughness that you've given to this person, Leo, like, I feel like they were not expecting you to still be interested in them if they have been stalling or holding this up or haven't really been vocal about how they feel and what's really going on. So, yeah, I feel like this is their message, Leo, but also as or you don't have to listen to me, but don't let this person hold you up, Leo. We also have, I know I'm confusing, I'm still figuring myself out, this person's energy. It's like they see the love that you have for them and the love that you are all together, Leo. And I feel like if they do need to work on themselves or they feel like being single is the best thing for them, they think about will they ever have the chance to work on this with you again or will they ever come in contact with another person like you who is like you, Leo, but also gives that, that same love and affection that you do. So it's like, how do I navigate this with Leo? knowing that I don't want to lose Leo. Should I just go for it? Like, take that leap of faith and trust it? Or do I need to feel more prepared? All right, so we also have, I want to be better for me so I could be better for you. Going back into that energy I, me I just mentioned, I feel like this is this person's energy. Maybe there are some things that they would like to personally work on before they could make themselves 100% accessible to you. That means mentally spiritually emotionally leo i don't want to feel controlled i feel like this is your energy leo you may be at this point in time in this connection where you're tired of waiting or you're tired of waiting for things to pan out for things to come through or come to light 
So maybe you felt bound to this connection, not that this was this person was controlling you, but just the need to check in on this and make sure that you two are headed in the right direction, being that that pursuer. And with I don't want to feel controlled, it's like I haven't been shown or given what I've what I would like to receive yet. So where is this really taking me? Okay. We do have loving you is so easy. I feel like this is an overall energy for the connection despite the the silence from this person or not knowing where this person stands. I feel like quality time with one another, you really admire it or love it, Leo. And just being around this person, you don't even have to do too much with them, just enjoying one another's presence, time and space and energy. Like that's a vibe to you, Leo. So we have loving you is so easy. And we also have, let me remind you how much I love you. I don't want you to forget. So I feel like overall this energy, like you may resonate with this energy, Leo, but you may, some of my Leos may be in different like stages of this energy if this does resonate for you. But this is more for my Leos who have had some time away from this person or maybe this person did address that there's some things that they want to get in order before being 100% prepared for this. So now that time has passed and this could be them wanting to remind you how much they love you, Leo. All right, let's just see what sign you may be dealing with. Can we please receive a sign? We have Aries. We also have Pisces, Aries, Pisces, one more sign please, and that is Virgo. All right, of course, Leo, you may be dealing with any sign, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.